Free Microsoft Office in Windows 10? Well, sort of. Hi everyone, I'm Leo Notenboom for AskLeo.com. So this turns out to be a very confusing situation for a lot of people. Uh, the question is very simple. Is Microsoft Office free in Windows 10? And the answer is no, it's not. But then yes again, it kind of is. The bottom line is that uh, Microsoft has included in Windows 10 a little helper program. I'll show you. I'll have a look, quick look at Windows 10 here. On the start menu, there's this thing called Office, and that's actually pre-installed in every version of Windows 10 these days. If you fire it up, you'll see that you've actually got a list of Office applications, or so it would seem. Notice, though, that there's also this Install Office button in the upper right, and, of course, a Buy Office in the upper right. What Microsoft has done is they have pre-installed this little helper program to give you easy access to the online versions of Outlook and OneDrive and Word and Excel and PowerPoint and OneNote and so forth. These are not installed on your PC. These are the versions of these applications that are available online on the web. In fact, they're available to anyone with a Microsoft account, and they're available on any system, be it Windows 10, Windows 8, Windows 7, or Mac, or Linux, or basically any system that happens to have a web browser that is sufficiently full-featured to actually run these applications as a web page. And they are completely, totally, 100% free. You can use these programs online for free from anywhere. The catch, of course, is that well, people aren't quite sure that that's really what they intended. What they think of when they think of is Office free is, is the installed program free? Can I download and install Microsoft Office applications onto my PC for free? And the answer there is no. You can purchase them. You can purchase either individual applications or you can subscribe to the, um, I think they're calling it Microsoft 365 right now, which is a subscription annual fee uh, that gets you access to all of the downloadable versions that you can then install on your PC, the full featured, fully functional applications that people typically associate with Microsoft Office. But the key here is that you may not need them. The online versions of the Office applications that are available for free are surprisingly full featured. They're surprisingly capable. And in fact, one of the reasons that they are uh, worth investigating is that they are also, of course, compatible. One of the issues we have with alternatives like Google Docs or LibreOffice or OpenOffice or some of the other Microsoft Office alternative applications is that there are often compatibility issues. They can range from actual file format incompatibilities to things just laying out not quite the same when you switch from a Microsoft Office app to one of the alternatives or come back. It's not uncommon for you to need to be able to share your documents with Microsoft Office users. Well, what better way to do that than with Microsoft Office on the web, the free version. You don't have to buy anything. And I think you'll find that they are so feature rich that it's very possible, very likely that you don't need Microsoft Office installed on your PC. You don't need to pay money. So in that sense, yeah, Microsoft Office is free in Windows 10. It's free for everybody, whether you're using Windows 10 or not, as long as the online versions of the applications meet your needs. And there's a very good chance that they will. By the way, the Office app that we're looking at on the screen right now, that actually will get updated if you install Office. The application will still become a shortcut to all of the Microsoft Office applications, but if you have them installed on your PC, it will run those. If you don't have them installed on your PC, this application will take you to, say, the online version of Word. So if we fire up a new Word document, you can see we're firing up a web browser and it brings us right into something that looks very much like Microsoft Office, except 
it's a website, it's a web page. And like I said, once you've saved the document to your PC, the document will be compatible with Microsoft Office. And you may find as you browse the various features in the online version that it has everything you need. I hope that was helpful. Uh, it is one of the confusing things about Windows 10 that there's this Office application. And I think it leads people to believe that Office is free even though the installed version is not, the online version is. For links related to the original article that this video was based on, for updates and to leave additional comments, visit askleo.com 76224. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.